Ladies and Germans, welcome back. So, in the meantime, made sure to build a bunch of barracks and uh, staff them and provide them with cannons and cool guns. What this allows us to do is become a minor power. <laughs> this is awesome. Now we can declare interests. So we can say we're interested in other places aside from our little Austrian uh, bubble here. So one of the things that we're, we are truly interested in at the moment is this area. We're going to be the Netherlands of Eastern Europe. So the reason is I would be I would love to to th so these areas are free here because uh, malaria is a big deal and because of malaria colonization is very very slow there's malaria in Papua as well but not in Sulawesi so now that we have declared our interest it needs to be uh, established you can see that in the diplomacy screen so our interests need to be set up there um, Am I building anything about like here right now? Yes. Where does my authority go to? Uh, well, I'd love to get rid of some of this cancel road maintenance here. Buildings. And the port infrastructure, as cool as it is. Oh. What did I do? Cancel one of them. Whoops. It's okay. Let's cancel some of this stuff. Uh, port infrastructure is valuable. But it's also extremely expensive to, to pay all the people working at the port. So let's finish this one. And as soon as, as this interest is established, we'll be able to do something very, very cool. And our colonial affair investment is increased. And I am starting to regret the fact that we chose colonial exploitation. Because all of these people are the wrong religion and culture. <laughs> so. Uh, they will be heavily discriminated against and I'm sure that's gonna have an impact on my What are you diplomatic interest colonies click 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 colonies everywhere? Let's go baby Valachian Celebes And now we're slowly colonizing well why slowly I mean this is a decent colonization speed This is awful and this is due to malaria and already we have some issues with money. I think that's government wages. I think that's because of the government wages. These places will let them uh, colonize. We have dye here. We have some sulfur and dye over here. And here we have dye and that's it so i'm thinking maybe we can build a port here and a port here this thing is going to expand and then we can start building some cool things um the ports are needed to unisolate those places so then they will have access to our resources and we will have access to theirs and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to enact interventionism. Uh, Dobroja can cancel this, so we will uh, we will pass laws faster by a few weeks. Boom! There we go. Awesome, awesome stuff. 
So with the investment pool, we used to get 700 uh, British euros um, per week from investment sources because it was just aristocrats. But now the capitalists are taking over. So we're making almost triple that. And we can use money from this investment pool to build a lot more things. This is very sweet. This is sweet, sweet stuff. And the thing is, this colonial exploitation is pretty cool, but um, gives us more throughput in unincorporated states. But resettlement gives us migration attraction. Oh boy, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have the impression that um, that the other colonial law would have been much better. What we can do is we can uh, now focus on our society. So let's say I, I would like to give some welfare to, uh, payments to the poor. But I also ah, click. I clicked it. I clicked it. That's okay. As I was debating, is poor laws should increase their um, quality of living, especially in the new colonies. But education system is also relevant. Thankfully, we do have a lot of extra authority. And our legitimacy is looking fairly good. So it should be fast enough. Yeah, so just just by the just by the, the the nature of interventionalism, we are now making money again. We are f taxing everything, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, as in our taxes, our, our um, just taxation level is is very high. We could lower it soon, maybe? Maybe? We're gonna... We're gonna... <clears throat> we're gonna have a bit of a deficit, but uh, enacting laws will be faster and our people's life will be better and maybe the radicals... Maybe we'll have less radicals? Maybe? Our liquor tax is, is working. It's gaining us the money. I think liquor affects only the middle strata, I think. Not exactly sure. And um, I like the coal mines. But in order to do things that we want to do... Um, we have access to some neat new resources. So I would like to build some dye plantations here. So once uh, Chilebe's port is done, we're going to be able to make our own dyes and use that resource to, you know, increase our, our uh, various buildings' um, production output. And of course, increase our money. Our GDP is almost 7 million. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Munition plants is now a thing. Cool. Baking powder. Okay. Uh, steel railway cars. 30 months. That's not bad. What, can else, what else can we do? In society, in principle, we want to go down this route and, and, and go to malaria prevention, but that's going to take quite some time. Nationalism seems to be um, spreading by itself. General staff as well. So we can go for steel railway cars. We did complete a quest which allows us to mm -hmm. no market access. These places are isolated. Small arms are expensive. Um, we did complete a quest which lets us complete that faster, that research. 
and that's gonna speed up our coal industry and soon coal will become even more valuable um, but until then I'm gonna deprioritize this because I want to I want to get the, the dye uh, plantations underway. Ho! Oh. And here's the government wages. Here come the government wages. I don't think I'll be able to keep this taxation level for long. We're gonna get another port soon. I'm gonna look at that. Trade route meet convoys. Yeah. So we are building this. Do we get sulfur there? That's why I'm building this, right? Because this place has sulfur mines. Yeah, okay. Because I also have no access to sulfur aside from there, so. Baking powder! This gives us some goodies for the food industry. We can make more groceries. Cool. Mechanized looms. Oh, hello. And this is where the dyes are gonna come in. And start doing good things. The glass works will allow us to make porcelain. Maybe we can tax that. Furniture manufacturers. Lades. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Good. More furniture. Chemical plants want sulfur. So I'm I need to choose between using the sulfur for the chemical plants, make more explosives. I don't use a lot of explosives at the moment. I could start using um, nitroglycerin in these mines. Ooh. Okay. The dye plantations. We can already set them up with uh, railroads. Okay, we still have some. We still had some places that we could upgrade with uh, railroad transportation. Now we have poor laws. Cool. So that gives us a new institution as well, which is the social security institution. Gives us welfare payments, and whoever receives them has less political power. That's going to be the rural folk, I guess. I guess. And where's the New Guinea? We don't need extra ports. Right now. Maybe we can connect the, the two eventually. But malaria is really preventing us from expanding too fast. And being on a slight deficit is not the end of the world. Uh, da, da, da. I wish I could see what are we going to get from this new place. But I'm curious. Um, hello. Yeah. I'm curious. So our dye plantation is staffed. Okay. And it's being staffed. Our port, for example, is unable to fully hire. That's why I was thinking that the other law could have brought more people to this colony and so yeah is it because of salaries or what hmm okay so if we cannot fully staff them then let's stop there We'll see, maybe if we get more people here, then we would be able to be inefficient agriculture. Da -da 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 
Yeah, why not? More radicals, why not? So what kind of... Uh, hmm. Let's run this. What new laws can we go for? Right of assembly, uh, peasant levies. Oh yeah, some sort of school. For public schools... We need church and state or labor rights. This gives us a lot of education access and assimilation. This gives us conversion. I like this. So this wants church and state. Or labor rights. Wait, what? State religion, freedom of conscience. What does it want from church and state? Must not have, okay. <clears throat> state religion. So if you move to freedom of conscience. So this basically lets us accept <clears throat> heretics. Total separation, it just accepts whatever so this lets us accept protestants i suppose it does hurt our authority by quite a bit who endorses this landowners oppose it the church is opposed it the intelligentsia love it ah all right Total separation is a bit too extreme. Hmm. Let's take it step by step, huh? Let's take it step by step. I wanna educate my people. Plus, the church will be less powerful and, um, and... Hey! Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I understand. I understand. So that's a no-no. That's a no-no. Oh god, that was a mistake. I need to get the landowners back, they were too upset. That was a mistake, I'm sorry. Now I have no legitimacy. <laughs> I kind of shot myself in the foot right there. Should not have done that. I should not have done that. Okay, landowners get a bit of uh, okay happiness. Not enough. Come on, guys. Yeah, there we go. Intelligentsia can go back on the fence. Maybe we can uh, put something else in place. Maybe uh, we can move to religious schools. Everybody likes this. So let's move to religious schools. And then we'll try to um, move the church away from... You know, let's make them happy. And then we'll take their power away. And that'll make them sad again. But... I'm gonna be okay. I'm, I'm a bit scared of this. I don't like to, to, to do this. But I will have to put attacks back again. To maximum. 
But yeah, look, we're doing well. Coal mines are gonna be up and running soon. We do have dye, right? So, um... We have a staffing problem, but we do produce dye. So we can change some, our, uh, some of our building production... Um, production methods. Paper uses sulfur and dye, okay. Chemical plants, I believe, use sulfur as well. But glass works, for example. Bam! Bone china. That's not a that's not a um, an encouragement to bone china. That's just um, it's just the name of the thing. Okay, okay. So that uses dye. There was one more thing that was using dye. I'm gonna leave this like this for now. It must have been another thing that was using dye. So I remember I was holding back on a lot of stuff. Or did I <coughs> turn those things on at the time and just left it as is? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. LeBlanc process wants uh, more sulfur. Okay. Never mind. Woohoo! In two weeks, we're gonna have the other province will be uh, done. Standards of living are decreasing. So now we got more plantations. We just get more plantations and perhaps more people. High tensions between us and Sulawesi. That's that's what I like to hear. Uh, one thing that we are indeed missing, I realize now, is naval bases. We will need naval bases because if uh, Sulawesi decides to, hey, you know, war, to declare war or something, which I can understand, they are completely entitled to... To wanting us to, um, to wanting us to go somewhere else. I put this here. I just need one so that it can start um, training, and then I'll start building more. Um, maybe at least five or ten, something like that. They will cost money, unfortunately, and they will require manoeuvres that are relatively expensive. Skirmish infantry, that's cute. Yeah, so we're gonna staff it, but then that that means that we need to pay those people. Small arms, okay. We would also need a f maybe a couple more governmental uh, buildings. Because this the space, the Nubia HQ wants an admiral. And because of the admiral, we're losing um, bureaucracy. Okay. Good. Good, so now that this is built, we can revoke the decree. Glass shortage in the Austrian market, excuse me. Let's import something. Oh, from our good old friend Prussia. I don't even need any. Mm -hmm. Glass shortage, wow.
Nasty, nasty stuff. Keep complaining about paper. And these sulfur mines are also very interesting. I think they only use tools because they say, okay, if you pay more sulfur, you get more sulfur. But that basically means that we just get more sulfur, no? Hmm. Could even conquer this. Spanish Philippines. Mmm, sulfur mines, lovely. I'm not sure if uh, building plantations here as well does help anybody. Maybe? They're also using slavery. Alright, here we go. Our first sulfur mine. It's very exciting. And we're employing it. And that's the thing, is we use more tools and coal to make more sulfur. Okay. I can, uh, I can agree to that. We have sufficient coal. And let's go for this. What's happening? The duel between landowners and intelligentsia ah. don't fight we have uh, we don't have enough people as it is you know explosives are a problem or were a problem because now I can go because I have the sulfur I can go to my one chemical plant and use that sulfur To build more explosives. And the paper mill as well. So this uses sulfur and makes more paper and dye. Sweet! Look at this. What is this? Is this positive revenue? Is this money that I'm seeing? Hmm. So interesting. Oh. Chemical plants. Why are you not fully staffed? What's wrong with you? They're willing for a wage of 6.8. Ah, they're not willing for to work for this wage. They would accept a higher wage. So I should I can subsidize this so that people come in and work. Okay. So that should mean that, 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 that this is going to be staffed, no? Okay. So we want to make those explosives, they're good. And you know what? Let's do the same here. And let's do the same here. Unproductive, unproduct unproductive trade route for glass. We got a letter. Huh. huh, this kind of works in our favor, so I do want to get rid of the uh, clergy eventually. They hold too much power. Cool. Cool. Um, we do need another one of these, and then one another one, another one of these. Okay, government administration, I think, is not sub subsidized. Uh, not subsidized, but covered by those. Um, Investment funds. Nationalism is unlocked. 
and again I'm starting to oh okay I'm starting to lose money because I'm not using my investment pool understood it's because I'm expanding my administration you know that bureaucracy is expanding to meet the needs of the expanding bureaucracy the question is what's worth building is it worth building some of these things Laborers 3000, machinists 500, shopkeeps. farmers. I'm thinking how. maybe some sugar plantations? Here. Other things are expensive in my market. So at the moment glass is really... I, I don't have any lead. And I don't have any where to mine it from. So I'm really depending on other uh, on imports. That's quite sad, but it is what it is. Let's put the glass works first. People want glass, we will give them glass. That's fine. Oh. Wait a second, decree. The thing is, I don't see these decrees function immediately. So, this one gives me like 10% better construction. I don't see this happen immediately. I don't know exactly how this works. Several things that uh, elude me. Welfare payment subsidies interests. I am spending money on interests, which I don't like. But let's see, we are uh, the steel railway cars are almost done. Vacuum canning. We might we might move into a very exciting chapter. You know what Serbia? I accept. Glass is expensive and almost gone. Maybe two of these were too much. Maybe two of these were too much. I'm not sure how the government wages will work. But yeah, let's go. So, we get steel passenger carriages and tanker cars for oil rigs. Oil rigs. Uh, no. Wait a second. This isn't an oil rig, this is a coal mine. I don't have oil rigs. <laughs> Damn it, that was dumb. But steel passenger cars does what exactly? So, uh, freeze up some wood. Gives us more transportation. Uses up more infrastructure. What? Oh, really? So this gives me less infrastructure, but more transportation. But look at this. Electrical generation. This is going to be the next exciting chapter in our... Um, economic uh, economical growth and the investment pool is now back online soon this place will be taken over yeah this is extremely slow that's why until we we learn how to deal with malaria this is not this is going to be very slow but we do get the sulfur from there, which is what we're here for, I suppose. This extra bureaucracy gives us some more construction efficiency. Which is uh, always nice to have. I wish, I, w I wonder if I can see what does that mean exactly. If I take a look here. What does the state construction efficiency actually mean? 
a bonus or penalty to the weekly construction progress in a state. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. There we go, another... Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> okay, it's the investment pool. That's gonna go away very fast. That's gonna go away very, very fast. It was good while it lasted, a couple of months. Man ores and glass are expensive. Um, yeah, and I guess shipyards. Where are the shipyards? Shipyards are going to be a necessity. Right, because I'm using more and more ships, they're becoming more and more expensive. Especially warships. My budget is creaking. Can tax porcelain. I am taxing a lot of people for a lot of money. Not very happy about that. Not happy about that at all. How are you guys doing? Sulfur mines. Why can't I build any of these? Because of the sugar plantations? I just built two. Feels like the eyes are quite important. Discipline and punish. Yeah, let's let's just go through this. They're violent, they wanna beat people, they're not being they're not being very nice. Uh, that's it's nice and all, but then again coal is going to be even more valuable. Ah uh, what am I building? What am I doing? Yeah. Coal is the future. That's for sure. That's for sure. But yeah, so um, anyway, until uh, until other stuff uh, happens, I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna hit the brakes right now, and I'll uh, I'll meet you back at the next uh, interesting chapter of our economic journey to prosperity and dominance of the island of Sulawesi. Thank you very much for. Uh, hanging out and we'll hang out some more next time goodbye